Being a crew member of a successful pirate ship requires a set of qualities that often reveal themselves in spare time pursuits. What do you do in your spare time, Mr. Fletcher? Well, I try to stay physically fit. I do enjoy fencing and rowing. I even have a fencing instructor who says I have real talent with foils and swords. And rowing, my shallow draft skiff on the river is something I enjoy doing on the weekends. And I have recently changed my diet to include more healthy foods. For example, I now drink only non-fat rum. And that saves calories, helping me to maintain a healthy weight. I'm also eating more citrus fruit. So I don't contract scurvy anymore. During my last voyage, over half the crew came down with acute scurvy. We were short-handed. But I remained fit for duty. I was able to fill in for sick shipmates who were not able to work their shifts. In fact, since starting the citrus, I haven't missed one day of duty. Because of painfully swollen or bleeding gums. And that's such a relief. All these activities and positive diet changes have helped to keep me physically strong and healthy on the job. As well as to benefit my heart and circulatory system. But it's also important to stay intellectually alert and growing. For example, I enjoy reading history, particularly histories about ocean exploration. And reading mysteries about lost treasure at sea. In addition, I read manuals about shipbuilding, boat repair, and sailing. These activities keep me alert mentally and serve to update my skills. But I also believe that it is critical to stay positively involved in my community. One way I do this is by volunteering twice per month at the Old Sailor's Rest Home. Moreover, I'm also a member of the local Pirates Anti-Defamation Association. We defend the reputation of piracy and we provide legal counsel to pirates who have been unfairly attacked simply because of their career choice. And our organization is a committed advocate. Our motto is Pirate Proud. These activities make our community better for pirates. In addition, I do have a spiritual commitment. I belong to the First Pirate Presbyterian Church and volunteer for their Skull and Bones outreach. We repair damaged pirate flags made unusable from wear, fading, ribs, and tears. We reweave these damaged flags, re -dye them, and thoroughly inspect them for quality. We then have them officially recertified. These repaired and recertified flags, we then distribute to needy pirate crews, who cannot afford the expense of purchasing new flags on their own. As you know, the new pirate flags are quite costly. Quite beyond the budgets of many young and at-risk pirate crews. Especially when they're at sea, for the first time. Volunteering in my church's spiritual outreach gives meaningful focus to my life. It also touches, in a positive and affirming way, the lives of so many others. I find that serving in this way also enriches my own life. So in my spare time, I try to stay physically fit, alert mentally, involved in my community, and spiritually committed. And I believe that this is a good use of my spare time. In fact, these activities show why professional piracy is a good career choice for me. I see you have done some thinking about your vocation. I also see that essential pirate traits filter into your spare time activities. I'm particularly impressed by your membership. In the Pirate Anti-Defamation Association, the PADA does good work. Pirates have suffered from bad public relations for too many years. I am glad that there is an organization that pirates in need can turn to. That you belong to this organization proves that you'll make a good addition to our team. You are hired. Welcome aboard. Maybe. Thank you. Let me get my duffel bag. Would it be possible to get an office with a southern exposure? That shouldn't be a problem, Mr. Fletcher. One thing we have plenty of on this ship is exposure. You are welcomed to as much as you like. Southern. Or otherwise. Thanks, again. I'm sure I'll enjoy working here. A choice of exposures and a deck anyone would love to swab. I can't think of a more exciting work environment. I can hardly wait to meet the rest of the crew and to start training in my new position. Today, I certainly feel pirate proud.